Welcome back. I'm Ed Hand. Last year on this show, we met Stuart Hickox and the volunteers for Project Porchlight. It's an initiative which aims to save us all money on electricity, one light bulb at a time. In this case, it's an energy efficient CFL or compact fluorescent light bulb. It started with the distribution of bulbs in Ottawa South and has now expanded across the city. Volunteers are currently going door to door, handing out a bulb to each household in Ottawa. To find out more about the success, the City Desk spoke to Stuart Hickox, Executive Director of Project Porchlight. Stuart, from the program launched last year when we talked to you, uh, when you're distributing in Ottawa South, now you're going right across the city. Is that uh, just due to response? Uh, absolutely. First thing that happened when we started going in Ottawa South last year, we got calls from all across the city. When are you coming to my neighborhood? Or I want to deliver bulbs on my street. And we had to push back and say, no, 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 we're just doing a pilot program right now, but we'll, we're hoping to do the city next year. And thankfully, Hydro Ottawa is our prime contributor. They were right on board. They're like totally keen, the city, Giant Tiger, and Rogers too. Like we've got all kinds of support for the citywide campaign. For those unfamiliar, what's the difference between the CFL bulb and a regular bulb? I love this. This is so easy. See these old-fashioned things invented in the 1800s? Very inefficient. This uses 75% more electricity than this one does, but makes the same kind of light. So if you change this bulb, like get rid of this one and put this one in, you'll save $50 on your hydro bill over the lifetime of this bulb, just, just by changing one light. Now, uh, there are some cases where they're not, they can't be used. What, what are they? Well, this is a standard 15-watt uh, compact fluorescent. It's for general average use, like for a porch light or inside bedroom lamp. It can't be used in a dimmer, can't be used in a tri light. But other than that, you know, just about average use. Most Do people have about 20 average use bulbs in their house. Does uh, weather have any factor on that? Absolutely not. No, this is a Globe electric uh, bulb. It's uh, manufactured, uh, designed in Canada. Um, it, uh, it, you know, you can use it anywhere. It's it's perfect for the Ottawa winter. In fact, we, now we were pretty worried about that at first because like, okay, are these things gonna last. Of course, they do. They're great. Now uh, these bulbs do contain a, a bit of mercury. Uh, what what about disposal? Yeah, we're not skirting that issue at all this year. If anyone tells you that this bulb is the bad bulb, it's not true. This one's the bad one. It wastes way more energy. More mercury is pumped into the atmosphere by keeping this one on from coal-fired power plants than from using this. And right now in the city of Ottawa, once these things burn out, you know, it'll take about five years average for these things to burn out, you can dispose of them like any other household hazardous waste, like paint, batteries, you know, take them to the mobile depot or to the trail road facility and the city is ready to take them back and recycle them responsibly. So mercury is a factor. There's three milligrams in one of these things. You know, I've got an old fashioned metal filling in my mouth. It's got 100 milligrams of mercury in it. So the risk is absolutely infinitesimally small, very small. You're looking to get 200,000 bulbs out across the city by the end of November, as I recall. Uh, any uh, plan on going bigger than that? Absolutely. Are you kidding? We're just getting started. I mean, Ottawa is an awesome place to test this kind of campaign. The response in Ottawa South was amazing. We already have 150 people signed up to volunteer for the campaign. We're only four days in. The Premier's office is very interested in this. We're working with them to try and expand province-wide in the spring. Hard to deliver bulbs in January, but we hope that the enthusiasm that we've, we've encountered here in Ottawa and the response that we've got will like move us forward across Ontario. Four and a half million light bulbs, that's what we want to do next year in Ontario. Any goals or plans to uh, go bigger and maybe federally? Well, you know what? We've been talking to the Conservative government a little bit. We think that this is a pretty good made in Canada solution for climate change, something that ordinary Canadians can do. It comes from the grassroots. You know, haven't spoken with the uh, Minister of Environment. The Prime Minister's held one of these things and I explained it to him how it works, but we're still working on a federal angle. It is a grassroots, a grassroots uh, uh, effort. How are you getting 200,000 bulbs across the city of Ottawa? It's super easy. We have 12 people employed, young, enthusiastic people to help coordinate teams to go out and volunteer in the neighborhoods. We have a website that is collecting volunteer support. We're working with community groups, the scouts, the boys and girls clubs, community associations to identify volunteers. Every single day we are delivering bulbs out in neighborhoods, post putting up posters to attract more volunteers. It's really not that hard because all we're saying to people is, please help us deliver these on your street. Not far across the other side of town, up and down your street a little bit. Be an environmental hero. 
give people light bulbs, light up your community, and help them save money. It's easy. All right, Stuart Hickox, good luck with it. Thanks a lot. I just want to say, if anyone wants to volunteer, please visit onechange.org, O-N-E, change.org, and uh, we'd be happy to work with you. Stuart Hickox is the executive director of Project Porch Light. In a moment.